I seem to have made mine upside down. Austin, have you seen this new hit TV show that's taken the world by storm? Mm, which one? It's called Hex Kitchen. I... no, I haven't. Bro, it's hosted by these two very good looking gentlemen, I might say, Ooh. using this top of the line hybrid cookware to make some simple dishes. Fantastic. Oh! Now, I, I, are we talking about Gordon Ramsay? Oh, no, 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 no. Camden Ramsay, I believe his name Camden is. Camden Ramsay, not Gordon Ramsay. No, nothing, no, no affiliation. No affiliation, just the same awesome cookware. By the end of this episode, you're gonna want some of the cookware that we're rocking, so uh, links in the description. Well, we've always wanted to cook like Gordon Ramsay, so let's get to it. What do you say? Let's do it. All right. To Hex Kitchen! Welcome back to Hex Kitchen, the slightly more PG-rated version of the hit TV show. <laughs> the far more PG version. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a bit more, actually. We thought it'd be a lot of fun to make the most basic American burger. Is that what he names it? That's what I'm calling all, it. The all-American burger. Like, I mean, he seems to be professional in that area. Yes, well, so... He's British, but... Anyways, <laughs> where are you gonna begin? I don't know, man. We should probably doing? start with some frying pans. <laughs> We've got these puppies! Yeah, today's episode is sponsored by Hexclad. They have been a tremendous sponsor and one that we hope to keep bringing back. That's right, Hexclad makes a high-performance hybrid cookware with the performance of stainless steel, the durability of cast iron. You can stick this bad boy in the oven up to 500 degrees. And last but definitely not least, the convenience of non-stick. Ooh! Look at that. Look at that, doesn't even stick. Fancy! I am actually really excited about this. <laughs> Me too, man. I've been needing some new pots, some new pans. Who doesn't love a new set, honestly? And I can't it's wait so to good. taste this glorious burger upon this hex cladded frying pan. All right, now we watched a video on Gordon Ramsay using these specific products making a very specific burger. Nothing fancy about it but he says it's the banger, the best of all burgers. So I'm very excited to take it back to the basics and try it out. Nothing beats the basics. Grab your pan. I already did that. Well, you're ahead of me though. <laughs> We're gonna take it up to a nice medium high heat, okay? What do you put it at four. when they say medium high? I put it at four. It's just one notch past medium? Yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> Don't forget that little I drizzle. I don't know, you're the chef, sir. Don't forget that drizzle. <laughs> drizzle, 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 drizzle. Beautiful. All right, let that heat just get into that pan. Mm -hmm. let, let it cook a minute. Make sure your thing is on. Is this? Oh yeah, we got this heating up. Okay, it's right. Oh yeah, that's heating up. It's not us. Give it a little. Give it a minute there. Probably should have started this and then talked. Maybe. Cause now we're just gonna stand here. So I've watched this Gordon Ramsay video a total of one times. We'll see what's stuck. First things first. I'll tell you what's not gonna stick. These pans. Dang straight. Get your burger. Look at this premium beef pa Oh, that one fell half. No, like premium <laughs> beef patty right there, okay? Put that right in the middle. Let that sizzle. Now the most important part of making a burger is the is the color. You want oh. the you want that beautiful, crisp, gorgeous color in there. Okay. Now Another thing you don't do with a burger is you never flip more than once. Why is that? That's what he said. I don't know why, but he said to have confidence. Now, next thing we need to do is wipe my hands because they got <laughs> dirty meat juice on them. <laughs> All right, now, real important, we want to give it a tad, a little touch of flavor, okay? Get yourself some of that salt. You're gonna, you're gonna put that salt right on there. Don't forget the pepper. Ooh, ow, it just, ow! Oh! Don't forget that pepper. I told you not to turn it up so hot. Ah! Shoot! Turn it down. Wait, are we supposed to turn it down beforehand? No. Nope. Are you sure? Ow! <laughs> Use the lid as a shield! Like Captain America? Lift it off the heat a little bit. Ow! You turned it up too high. I told you! When you're making the, the hot plate smoke, have the confidence! Listen to that sizzle. You want that color to just bake right in there. Just Ow. nice every time. It's still Use popping! The color. <laughs> You're having issues over here. He should have watched the video. Ow! It's hurting! Ow! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait a while. Wait, got it. 
Bring it on down. Yeah, you're gonna drop that. You're gonna drop that. You know, you bring you start at the medium high heat and you bring it in. Bring okay. it on down because the, the stainless steel keep that beautiful heat. That one took me in the eye. <laughs> Take that beautiful heat in there. Okay. Okay. We gotta throw our onions in, right? Yep, while that's going on, don't forget to add your onions, you know. What about the pepper? Get a nice caramelized. You didn't put pepper on yet? No, you didn't tell me to. So I'm gonna put my onions in here, okay? Caramelize these beauties. Alright. Put them on in there. Move that oil around a little bit. Ooh, let that caramelize a tad. Oh yeah, let that, let that caramelize a bit. Don't forget, a little uh, a tab of salt, a little pepper on those onions. Ooh, yes. Now, make sure, remember, we gotta be confident in our flip. Another wonderful feature of these hex clad pans is you can use metal utensils with them. What? That's correct. Holy crap. Give that, give that burger a nice, nice beautiful flip. Probably should have used a spatula like he did, but hey. Oh, look at that color. Look at that color. Look at that beautiful. Nice golden crisp. How you doing? Look at doing that. Great. Fantastic. Now, now that we flipped it, we can't forget a pinch of salt. Okay. More salt and pepper. Nice. Oh yeah, you gotta season it up. A little, little bit, a lot goes a long way. Oh, did you flip your onions too? Don't forget to flip your onions. Let's get in there. Oh yeah, nice and caramelized. Get them. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, what's next, chef? Now, you gotta make sure we let it kind of cook all the way through. We're gonna give it some uh, some cheesy beautifulness here soon. Oh. But there's a there's a special way you gotta add the cheese, okay? okay? We're gonna bring it down real low. We're gonna have to season it a little bit, add the cheese, put the lid on, we'll go from there. Okay. What about the butter? Oh, don't forget the butter. Thank you. Butter gives a little extra, a little extra, not zest, because butter's not zesty. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness, look at that sizzle. Now that right there is a buttery, delicious burger. Mm. Let that butter just, just, you know, fill in those extra spaces of flavor town. Make sure it's a good, complete journey. Okay. To deliciousness. Now, as the burger is almost quite done, we're gonna get those buns toasted real quick. Oh. I was gonna throw You're, the toasted. You got it. Toast them however okay. you will. We just need toasted buns. Hey, what's the next step, chef? Now we're gonna take down that uh, that heat a little bit. Drop it down below. Okay. We're gonna throw on our our first piece of cheese, right? Okay. We're gonna put on a little salt, a little pepper, a second piece of cheese because you can never you never have enough cheese on there. A little more salt. Beautiful. Then we're gonna cover that bad boy. Let it get a little nice. bit more salt and pepper. Nice. Oh yeah. More? Of course, more. You question me? Okay. And then you put the lid on. That's right. Did you drop it low? Beautiful. Don't forget to pick it up slow. Okay. Next. <laughs> <laughs> when the buns are done, first things first. Ooh, look at these buns. Woo! We gotta add a little mayonnaise. Just okay. a little, little titch on there, spread around with the spoon. Now why have I never used a, a spoon to spread stuff? That seems so right? smart. Makes way more sense. On both sides? Nope, just one. Next, don't forget, a little flavoring. A little salt. What? A little pepper. Don't worry about it. More salt? More pepper? Next, go ahead and throw on your tomatoes. A little salt. Now we need a little acid, even though I hate it. Couple pickles. Don't forget, a little salt. <laughs> Wait, do you need pepper on there too? You know what, teach that one. <laughs> on the top, we're gonna add a little Dijon, a little mustard. Mmm. Now the most important part. Okay. It's time to plate that there burger. Does, doesn't the lettuce go down first? Shh. No, no, it's okay. Are you sure? It's okay, it comes next, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Do we need salt and pepper on, this, on the mustard? Oh, better be safe, you know. Okay. What is this creature? Is what is this? They sold you the dirt too. Is this is elephants here. What is this? A little crack. Get a little crack. A little okay, crack. A little crack. No knives or anything. Don't forget the salt. All right. Oh yes. Ooh. Bam! Look at that baby sizzle. Oh yes. Get that bad boy right on out of there. 
Look at that beautiful melted cheese, the crisp color. This is just, played it right. Oh my gosh, look at how it sits beautifully mm. upon its throne of brioche. So let the onions go. They're in there still. So now, <laughs> we take the onions. Look at that beautiful caramelized. Mm. Gorgeous, put that right on top. Okay. Oh yes. Last, but definitely not least, a pinch of salt. What? <laughs> and, a little, and a little pepper. More? That's right. This may be the all-American burger, but this is the high cholesterol burger. <laughs> I seem to have made mine upside down. <laughs> There's a reason why we're trying to be Gordon. That's Bobby. the butt. <laughs> all right. Bam. Boom. Look at that. Brought it all together. This wonderful cookware has created what is going to be the most spectacular hamburger I have ever stuffed in my face. Are you ready to try it? I am so ready. Look at this, look at this. No sticking at all. That's some fried cheese on there. You know what? That looks freaking, I don't know about it you. It also feels absolutely I don't know illegal about you. using metal utensils on a pan. Right? Freaking, You know what though? Great. I like your style. That. Oh my gosh, that looks good. That is beautiful. Look at that. Oh, some of that oh melted my gosh. cheese, baby. I'm never gonna eat another. Woo! Never gonna eat a burger another way again. Oh my gosh, look at that. That looks so good. This is the upside down All American. You got the regular All American. <laughs> From the upside down. A nice spin on a classic meal. All right, man, are you ready to try this? Oh, I'm so ready. The All American Gordon Ramsay Burger. A lot of salt, a lot of pep. You saw it. I that want might to be it. the key, though. It might be. We've been told our lives to not use that much. Maybe we oh. were wrong. I'm ready. How's it so good? I don't even like tomatoes. <laughs> Son of a gun. A little bit of salt and pep. Correction. A, a lot, lot of bit of salt and pep goes a long way. Wow. It literally is a basic, but it freaking nails it. I'm gonna have to sit down to eat this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I got mm -hmm. it. It's a very good burger. Hot freaking day. <laughs> like, I am now truly bewildered. It's very good. Every burger I've had in my life all made has sucked compared to this. Mm, that doesn't even make sense. Mm-mm. All this time, mm -hmm. all I needed was some salt and pep. Mm-hmm. And to cook my burgers in a pan. Mm-hmm. I've been wasting all this time using a grill. This is freaking phenomenal. So perfectly evenly. I'm only cooking burgers next guy from now on. Dude, that's so good. That's like next level. You let it marinate in that butter. Dude, that's I think- freaking butter, dude. I think that's part of the trick. Mm. Best part is cleanup's easy. These mm. bad boys can go right into the dishwasher. I'm not washing these with my hands. Mm-mm. Off to the next thing. <clears throat> so good. By far the best burger I have ever had, sir. <laughs> so good. Dude, I'm gonna rate every restaurant burger on my own burger now. <laughs> it feels illegal. It really truly does. Right? Yeah, I honestly, I went into this a little skeptical because I watched the tutorial on how he made this burger and I was like, really? Is it really that good? No All way. he's using is salt and pepper. I've had burgers far fancier than this. But I do attribute the amazingness of that burger to the cookware. Oh yeah. 100%. I think our added non-stick cheese that was in there <laughs> oh, might have just taken it just right over the top. Oh. That extra piece. There you go, Gordon. Feel free to use that if you wish. So good. <laughs> Now I need to go cook more stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's get to it. But again, huge thanks to Hexcloud for sponsoring this episode. If you'd like to see us try cooking again, maybe a way crazier, way harder, more oh, in-depth yeah. dish, please leave us your request down below. I have heard, what's that real, a souffle? Souffle, that one's, souffle that's when you gotta be quiet so yes. it doesn't like crush itself. 
I feel like eventually we should try a souffle. Dude, I'm down. I mean, I don't know. I'm so down. We're so amateur that we'll probably fail hardcore. So Make this... some macaroons. Those are also difficult. Kind of like souffle, so you gotta like puff them up. Now I'm getting nervous. We can do it! <laughs> we'll eat them no matter how they come out. Okay. No matter how they come All right, out. Alright, no matter how they come out, we'll do it. So leave us your request down below and check out Hexclad. Seriously, they're an awesome cookware Fantastic. set. And uh, thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you guys here next time. Deuces! Boy! So good! Chef Camden Ramsey. <laughs> and I thought, I've just Austin. <laughs> Austin Spoons. <laughs> so my girls love Amazing Spider-Man, or the Amazing Spidey and his friends or whatever. So good! So whenever he shoots his webs, my girls say, Drizzle, 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 drizzle! <laughs> another wonderful feature, another, <laughs> another full?